Hey, this is Don from A Life's Journeys, and in this video, uh, we're going to do a, a review of WestJet Flight 1117 uh, from Las Vegas to Toronto on a Boeing 737-800. Uh, we're in premium class for this flight. Um, so we started after arrival and, and getting through security at the airport at the club lounge uh, at uh, Las Vegas. Access that with... Uh, with a priority pass membership. Uh, it's very close to the gates that WestJet uses. Um, and, and so after that, we came out um, a little bit of time in the waiting area, uh, checked to see what that was like, and then took a quick little walk over to uh, the window, take a look at the tarmac, uh, check our, our plane, make sure it was there and it's, it's at the gate, and, uh, you know, quick look at what the activity was uh, out on uh, uh, out around the gates and, and and tarmac area. I don't know why I like looking out the window when uh, when at the airport. So uh, about forty minutes before uh, scheduled departure time, uh, we were called uh, right at the beginning uh, of the list as as a premium uh, class passenger, which is the WestJet version of a domestic business class. Uh, they've got you know, with that comes uh, a couple of free check bags uh, and priority boarding uh, are probably the uh, the biggest features that uh, that came with it, uh, along with included meal and beverage service, um, alcoholic drinks, etc., that aren't included when flying economy. Uh, so not surprising from the uh, the shot that we had out uh, of of where the plane was located outside. It's a long jetway <laughs> at, uh, at at Las Vegas. So um, did the did the walk down the jetway. Finally, get to the plane uh, and made our way in uh, to get seated in premium class. Uh, in that class, it's in a, a two two configuration. The Boeing seven thirty seven eight hundreds uh, on WestJet have the newer seats. Uh, as you can see here, uh, these are trim line seats, uh, barrier in between, like wide uh, wide armrests in between the two seats. Uh, lots of leg room. Um, this is in contrast to the uh, 37 or 737 700s that they've got, which uh, really just have the middle seat blocked. Uh, so these are wider. Uh, seats prove to be quite comfortable. Uh, again, no onboard entertainment. You have to bring. Uh, you see no seat back entertainment. Uh, you do end up having to bring your own equipment uh, to have some entertainment. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, Premium Class has uh, included meal service, uh, and they do have an oven, so it is hot service, which is in contrast, again, to the 737 700s, uh, which do not have uh, ovens, and, and all you get is something cold. Um, Again, free, uh, free or included beverages. So there was uh, uh, some liquor, some beer, uh, some wine, uh, prosecco, etc. Coffee, soft drinks, uh, pretty much you know normal stuff for most business class, domestic business class type flights, and uh, you know was was quite fine. Uh, I'll talk a bit more about the food later uh, when I show you what I in fact had. Um, so anyway, we sat on uh, at the gate for a while as I looked at the various things that were there, and it was finally time to push back. Uh, I can see a, uh, I think it was an Aero Mexico flight or plane that was uh, next to us. Um, so just looking uh, at at the pushback and uh, and enjoying that because it's you know. Always fun to see the activity uh, on the apron and what's going on. Uh, this day, uh, as you're going to see a bit, because I really sort of uh, sped up or, or cut down a lot of stuff before takeoff, uh, there were some computer problems uh, throughout the airport that led to a lot of ground delays. So we finished this pushback, and then we sat, and we sat, and we sat. <laughs> it was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, but anyway, we finally got moving. And we got close to uh, 
you know, where we would get into the line for uh, takeoff, only to sit some more. And uh, it, it was it was a long wait, but <laughs> uh, got to do a little bit of reading, read through the magazine, um, you know, talk to uh, the princess a little bit, and you know, it was just you know one of those things that you need to deal with when flying. Uh, sometimes things don't go smoothly. Sometimes there's delays, etc. But uh, anyway, on this, I'll give you a chance just to watch the uh, activity. Uh, this is a time when I tend to spend a bunch of time just sort of staring out the window <laughs> and and enjoying it. So as I said, we got out here and uh, you know had a bit of a had a bit of a ground delay, uh, waited. Um, and, and as you can see, uh, as we come forward here, there starts to be some uh, planes lined up in the, uh, in the distance um, as, as we do the turn, uh, starting to move over to uh, the, uh, the, the runway that leads to the, the takeoff runway. I know there's a proper name for that, and it is just out of my head at the moment and can't think of it. So there we are, along we go, doop de doop de doop Sort of the, uh, the anticipation of finally getting off, and it just doesn't come fast enough. And so this is about where we, uh, we got stuck and had to wait again. I think we ended up being um, probably about 15 to 20 minutes, if not 30 minutes, um, just sitting there, uh, which is not the most exciting way to spend time in a plane um, you know and, and once we did start to move uh, as you can see you've got that big lineup of planes waiting to uh, waiting for takeoff order um, one once we once we got into this uh, into this lineup um, I think we were probably another 10 or 15 minutes from there uh, to finally get to take off. Um, you know, again, just one of those waits. I don't think we even had beverage service. There was a bottle of water sitting at, um, at the seat. Uh, so we were able to have that, but, uh, that was it for pre-departure beverage. So here we are finally coming around for, for takeoff. And, uh, let's just enjoy that ride a little bit. Uh, as we start to get the acceleration and get ready to go, it's uh, it's kind of funny. The uh, the angle, and I, I use a GoPro to do these, and so I've got a GoPro Karma Grip as uh, effectively a gimbal. And as it tries to stay horizontal but is impacted by the thrust, uh, we start to see a bit of angle on the camera on the way up. So it gives a really... Uh, kind of weird perspective as we're doing these things. But we finally get lift off uh, and we're starting to get elevated a bit above runway level. As we see the speed pick up, pick up, pick up, and there we are getting up and uh, enjoy a bit of a view of uh, the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, as we start to make our departure. Given the runway uh, orientation on this day, we're looking south um, and we're just passing over the interstate that heads towards Los Angeles. In this area, you've got a lot of the usual uh, near the airport uh, industrial areas and warehouses, etc. Um, and so just seeing a lot of large buildings with flat roofs. I do like the blue sky and mountain type of view as, as we go along. Uh, it's always one of the most enjoyable parts for me of... Uh, of any flight. So 
So as we finally uh, got off and, and started to uh, level off um, and, and get to cruising altitude, uh, first thing they did was start with uh, a beverage service. Uh, this being a departure from uh, Las Vegas, uh, I think I'd had enough alcohol well on the ground for a few days. And so uh, just had a, a, a Sprite, uh, came with you know, a choice of some snacks, I had some Biscoff cookies and, and uh, just some pretzels. Uh, but there's probably about half a dozen different types of snacks uh, that one could enjoy. Again, leaving from us, Vegas, uh, heading back to Toronto, you've got the flight over the mountains. And so had to share uh, a shot out the window of the clouds and the snow-capped mountains and uh, you know, start to head towards the plains a little bit, uh, getting a little bit of that snow. Uh, just always kind of a cool sight. So finally a ways in, it was finally time for lunch, uh, tomato and balconcini salad. Uh, there was a maple blueberry cake and then... Uh, this uh, this beef dish with mashed potatoes and some vegetables it was actually uh, it was actually quite tasty and enjoyed it um, you know and and surprised by that um, then a couple hours later uh, it was snack time and they gave us that uh, little bon, bon voyage snack box uh, which had a number of little treats in it including uh, well, that was basically a caramel corn. So you reach in. Uh, this wasn't the easiest thing to open up with one hand, I'll <laughs> warn you. I had the camera. Uh, there's a container of almonds, or a little baggie of almonds. A uh, small wafer of chocolate. And then after that, to freshen breath a little bit, uh, there's a small little packet of Tic Tacs. I think there's about five Tic Tacs in it. Uh, more uh, more view across the uh, across the plains before we started to hit uh, descent into Toronto about a uh, little over four hours after takeoff, and so this is bringing it home uh, as as we head down to landing. So thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, give this a thumbs up, and may your life's journeys be everything you dreamed of. Have a great day.